Hi everyone, and welcome to my e-poster presentation. I'm going to talk about mixed lead tin monolayer Rodeston popper perovskites. As you may know, 3D bulk perovskites have made remarkable progress in the last decade or so, reaching 25.5% power conversion efficiencies as of this year. But one of the major drawbacks of perovskites in their current state is their stability, as well as the use of lead as the B-site metal. Lead can be replaced by tin in the perovskite structure, but this leads to even more issues with stability, such as oxidation from tin 2 plus to tin 4 plus. One method to improve the stability of a perovskite is to reduce its dimensionality. This can be achieved by shaving off layers of the perovskite along one axis and then attaching a large bulky cation to either side. This bulky cation can help sequester external oxidation as well as unwanted ion migration. Now that we have a more stable setup, we can think about including tin as the B-site metal. We have studied the mixed lead tin alloy system for a monolayer Rodeston Popper perovskite as shown in this structural input file. We will also refer to the 50-50 mixed lead tin systems by the following names, Columns and Battenberg, depending on the short range ordering of lead and tin atoms. The band gap dependence can be understood using the following equation, where B is the Boeing parameter. We found by using density functional theory calculations that the band gap dependence on increasing tin content is slightly nonlinear, with a nonlinear term or Boeing parameter of 0.351 and 0.379 with and without spin orbit coupling respectively. We can see in this graph that while spin orbit coupling strongly affects the linear term, it does not affect the bone parameter significantly, but we do find that the conduction band minimum behaviour, such as effective electron masses, are strongly dependent on the spin orbit coupling, so this should be included. The short range ordering of lead and tin atoms is also shown to be important to consider, with the band gap being dependent on this, especially when not using spin orbit coupling. To understand this further, we took a look at the chemical behaviour at the band edges and found that as we increased tin content, the conduction band minimum was shared evenly between lead and tin. But we found that the valence band maximum becomes dominated by the tin 5s iodine 5p antibonding, where the equivalent lead iodine antibonding is lower in energy. This is very similar to the behaviour observed in 3D bulk perovskites, except in a 3D material. This competing for energy occurs in both the valence band maximum and the conduction band minimum, resulting in an even stronger Boeing constant.